Somebody's put out a little crocheted shopping cart here in uh, the middle of Chelsea, which is down the street from the Gagosian Gallery. And it says, your art here. Well, we're down here at the bottom of Green Street in Soho. And oh, look what I spotted here. We've got another of crocheted street art. This is somebody's crocheted their 10 speed. Well, this is James Calm again on the bike, and today we're here at the bottom of the East Village where it bumps up against the Lower East Side. We're gonna run up to Gathering of the Tribes and see pay per view with Gahe Park and Jeffrey Cypher Wright. And Lauren Rogers Chris Cypher Wright. Have you done all your reading already? The book? It's done? It's done? Yes, but the echoes are still shadowy. Bye, Jack and Don. Thank you so much. Well, so this is the famous good, this famous gathering of the tribes gallery down here on East Third Street. So these cut paper pieces are by Gahe Park. She's a Korean artist. And I guess this is gouache and cut paper. Based on musical notations, I guess. Obviously, it's a pretty, pretty sophisticated and highly worked out system. Like her color things that she's got going on there. This is a kind of an interesting type of formalism she's dealing with. Have you figured out her system she's got going here at all? She's, uh, she could be an architect. She's an architect at heart. <laughs> titled Music Drawings Prelude Fantasy. It's a couple of her other, I guess, there's her individual pieces. Oh, I like that. This is a kind of an interesting take on a minimalist grid. Consuming meditative process she's got here. So that's a room of work by Gahe Park. Well, we're going to uh, barge in here and take a look at the works of Jeffrey Wright. Normally he calls himself Jeffrey Cypher Wright. It's a well-known poet, but we missed his reading tonight. Tinkerbell, huh? How did the show come together? This is Blinky Palermo. Gahe asked me to be in the show. Gahe. Hi, Gahe. I enjoyed your work. Hi, thank you so much. Very time consuming, right? A lot of patience. So, Gahe asked you to be in the show. 
I was here last year, a year ago. I had a show here with uh, the Poet Collage. Ah, uh, I know you've done a lot of uh, curating collage shows and things like that. Yes, yeah, like the fifth one. What's the title of this piece? Mard Burrow Man. Mard Burrow. Mard Burrow Man, okay. Uh, did you guys, did you did you paint the walls just to go along with this uh, piece here? This, this is the portrait of Clayton. You have to do a close-up right there. You can see Clayton Patterson's Clayton face. Clayton Patterson. See, right in the eye of the skull. He's got a big beard. Two eyes. And this one's my favorite one. And I'm so proud What's of What's with the Tinkerbell thing? Well, I've always like felt like Peter Pan, you know, and there's Tinkerbell. And there's you kind of look like Peter Pan. Captain Hook on your ass. And this is Janet, the curator. He's corrupt young, And so Tinkerbell's like this great muse figure for me. And she's, sometimes she's naughty, and sometimes she's very like Madonna-like. Did you have a crush on her when you were a kid? Well, I thought I was Peter Pan, you know. <laughs> okay. But also, this student of mine, in uh, like a 12-year-old, gave me a coloring book page that had Tinkerbell on it. I started copying it. I thought, I've been trying to start drawing more. I had, you know, I started, doing, here's a bad one, an early one, and then I did some other stuff. But then I really focused on Tinkerbell, and then I went to like doing more different kinds of fairies because it's such an archetypal image and for a muse. And I tried to make them really personable and seductive. And so for me, they're like alternate virtual, not virtual, but virtual girlfriends in a way because... What does your wife think of all this? Well, at first she hated Tinkerbell and was jealous, and then she decided they were really portraits of her. Oh, well, some are. that's always a good way to work it out. Congratulations. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, so that was Jeffrey. Amy Hill. Lori Ortiz. It's a nice collage piece with spray paint and stencils. So this is a quick look at pay-per-view here at a gathering of the tribes. The work of Gahe Park and Jeffrey Cypher Wright. Thanks, Kate. Give us a quick poem, Jeffrey. First, there was the second that I met you, and then there was everything else. When he talks, I just swoon. That was it, huh? <laughs> we won't linger. Yeah, don't linger. You're going to get worse, believe me, because that was okay. <laughs>